Moving to a new country is hard enough, but not speaking the language, of course, can make it even harder. As we conclude Hispanic Heritage Month, News Channel 5's Olivia Michael introduces us to one local man who shows how hard work and perseverance pays off. Eduardo Martinez's story is familiar. Well, I'm coming to America, you know, for the American dream. He and his wife fled Venezuela six years ago. When I'm coming to this country, I did not speak English, nothing. So nothing, nothing, nothing. Despite the challenges of a new country and foreign language, he found work at a popular fast food chain. Well, I'm prepped uh, the sides, you know, the rice or potato, all sides. But as he climbed the ranks, a language barrier still held him back. What we're seeing that the number one reason why people leave restaurants and even have had have uh, left tzatzikis is because they were looking for a path to move up. For some, that path means learning English, which is why Tzatziki's CEO Dan Simpson says the company is now offering employees like Eduardo free English lessons. Hey, ma'am, how are you? Fine, thank you. And so that's why we look at this particular um, option, this particular benefit for our Hispanic workers and to make sure that language is not the thing that keeps them from achieving their dreams. In a world of worker shortages, he says the new program is a good business move. It's a smart investment helping us as a business because the best staff, we get, best leaders we could ever have in the future are the staff we have right now. Today, you won't find Eduardo prepping side dishes. With the help of his English lessons, he's now the manager. That is the American dream. You know, the stability for me, for my family, for everything. In Nashville, Olivia Michael, News Channel 5.